What's up guys and welcome to Portal Knights. This game is actually really, really awesome. Think about it like Minecraft if it had like an RPG action adventure story. That's exactly what Portal Knights is and I love it so darn much. I've played a little bit of it and it was a lot of fun. So today we're gonna be starting our little Portal Knights adventure. This game is still in early access but releases tomorrow on Steam. So it is really darn cool. If you enjoy this first episode, make sure to give it a like and let me know in the comment section below that you would like to see more of this game. But for now, let's get started on our awesome adventure. All right, so we get the Maker Road character here too. I'm trying my best to make this guy original, but at the same time, uh, I don't know how good I am at customizing characters. We do have three classes here. We have the warrior, the ranger, and the mage. Of course, they will have different abilities. They'll also have different skill trees, so we're just gonna do with the uh, warrior for right now. It's like, you know, sort of the character I'm the most comfortable with for now. Of course, we might do multiple th playthroughs and stuff with different classes, but for now, let's just do the warrior. I can also customize my character in a whole bunch of different doopy ways. Oh, whoa, 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 we got an alien. <laughs> It looks like an orc, actually. I don't know, this is a lot of crazy stuff. I think this looks pretty similar to me. As similar as I'm gonna get with this simple little editor. We also get to change her voice? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's not really much of a change. But I guess I'll be voicing my own way through, seeing how I'm playing the game myself. Okay, then let's go. Not the most original character, but hey. We are zebra. Oh no, I'm already using that. Okay, hold on. Can I, can I do exclamation point? Yes, I can. Zebra, yay! <laughs> All right, let's play. Of course, we'll be playing just by ourselves today, so let's go. Ooh, oh, looks like we have some story. In the forgotten days, the world was peaceful and whole, but the fracture arrived and tore the realm apart. Well, that doesn't sound very dandy. Oh my, I love this, this looks really cool. Now, the only connection between disparate lands are the ancient portals and they are guarded by covetous fiends who thrive in the darkness. Oh, that's also not good. Can we be the hero of the story? That sounds like it'd be fun. The world awaits heroes who will restore light to the portal and reunite the peaceful realm. Hey, I think that might be us. It's talking about us, we're, we're heroes, yeah. <laughs> okay then, let's get started. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's happening? <laughs> Going through the pool, like the realm here. Oh geez, Peaceful Hills, level one, new location. Whoa, whoa, look at this, guys. This game is beautiful. I'm loving it already. It looks a lot like Minecraft if it was like combined with Zelda, like you can see. You can also switch into first person mode and be all like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, then move around using the WASD, space bar to jump, open the backpack by pressing E and move a minor healing potion stack to your action bar. Okay, oh wow, this is interesting. So we got a whole thing set up here, Pioneer's Flag, Pioneer's Cape, I think we get these for uh, getting the early access version. And then what else do we have? Attack an enemy with your weapon by using the left mouse button. All right, I don't see any enemies. Wait, this bush, get the bush, ah! Oh, what, that didn't count? Oh, come on. Aha, here are some slimes right up here. All right, let's start fighting these dudes. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, start slicing at the orange slime. Oh wait, there wasn't this, this is not a green slime. That is obviously red. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Oh, what is that over there? There's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Well, we need to take out, whoa, look at you. You're so cute, you get back here. Um. Oh no, I didn't want to attack you. I'm so sorry, cute little bird. I don't know how you're flying, seeing how your wings are incredibly small, but uh, I'll take your egg. I stole it, I feel bad. Um. So there we go, we, we collected uh, two portal shards as well. Alrighty then, click on enemies to lock onto them. When an enemy is locked, press space and, oh, we can evade. So I can like go like that and then, hoo <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alrighty then, so whoa, whoa, watch out, watch out. All right, let's um turn to this guy, um, if I can. I really don't know how. Switch target. No, I wanna switch to the one attacking me. There you go. All right, Mr. Orange Slime, you wanna fight with me? I'm a champion, you better watch out. <laughs> He does not hold back till he just starts swinging like crazy. Like there's like no sword finesse. It's just whack it as fast as you can. Oh geez, oh, whoa, oh gosh. Made a big mistake by falling down the cave. I'm being shot at from like all over the place. I'm gonna die in the first level, aren't I? Oh gee, whoa. Okay, I thought this was another way out. I was dead wrong. I'm so dead right now. <laughs> I have a hard and a half. Just keep running, keep running. You can do it, you can do it. Yeah, okay, we made it. 
complete the remaining quests, and step through the portal to discover a new island. All right then, so what other quests do we have around here? It seems like, yeah, we aren't done. Oh, there's other orange stuff. I'm guessing that's where the quests are then. Oh wow, this is actually a pretty beautiful area. And I know this is different from when I originally, you know, messed around with the tutorial a little bit. Like it's a different world every time. It is like randomly generated, which is really darn cool. Alrighty then, um, stone mine. What is this saying? Garden, plant the seed for each tree you chop. All right, um, we'll give that a shot. Here, let's t take down this tree right here. And then how do we plant something? Um, I'm guessing we could just sort of, ah. Oh, so it's like almost like a little bit like Animal Crossing too. I like that. So what other, um, we got some emerald tree seeds. So we can plant these things all over the place. So that's sort of the interesting thing is that I can make a complete home here, but it's like eventually I'm gonna run out of resources or you know, it's just gonna get boring and I wanna move on to the next level. But when you move on to the next level, you can't actually come back. So it's interesting for sure. Hmm. So let's see what other, so I'm guessing like these orange things are different quests out. So we're just gonna have to look around. Um, hmm, Yo, let's run up here. And what is this saying? Uh, oh my, look at, find high lookouts to get a better overview of this island. Just like this one, all right. Hmm, whoa, 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 okay. Falling doesn't seem to do anything bad. What's this say? Peaceful Hills Cotton Farm. In the cotton farm, the portal knights craft their armor and clothing. So we use cotton? Craft things? Okay, wait, what is this? Oh, this is like a crafting bench. It's a really broken one, but I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Um, so we can make our own crafting bench. We need four wood. And then we got some other stuff as well. So we can also craft, oh, this is the stuff we need to make it to the next area. So we can craft some of that. And then we really don't have many materials for anything else. We do have enough for another healing potion. I'll take some of that. There you go. Hmm. And then what is this? Oh, we can upgrade the workbench. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm, what about, whoa, what is this stuff? Refined wood, whoa. Okay, we're in the money now. Look at all that stuff. 20 refined wood blocks. So I'm guessing we could use that for something. What is all, okay, so this is more. So you can sort of break up salvage things, you know, stuff that isn't very useful to you and make it useful to you. Interesting. So there's a sharpening stone. Now I believe we can use that to actually sharpen our weapons. I'm gonna be trying to you know, figure out as much as I possibly can about this game, because usually I don't know anything about these games ever, and then the viewer, you know, you guys at home have to be like, no, Zebra, you don't do that, you dingus, you do this. So, um, well, as I say that, I'm accidentally placing things that I didn't wanna place. I wanted to try to like this. What is this? This is a straw block. That's actually pretty cool. So, we actually have a quest to repair this old farmhouse. Repair the broken workbench by crafting its upgrade. All right, to do that, we're going to need no upgrade available. There was there was one just a moment ago. Um, oh no, no, oh, because I wasn't using it. Okay then, so we need to go and get some wood. So let's go and knock down a tree, I guess. Um, just like this, Can it, does it work when I'm using a sword? Knocking down a tree with a sword, is this, oh, oh, there you go, we got some wood logs, okay. Let's keep doing that until we get enough. Let's try to get a little bit more here. I think we'll just have to knock down this big guy. Ooh, this game looks beautiful though. Like I can't wait to play a lot more of this. Like I said, it's only in early access, so the game isn't finished, but I can't wait to just play more and more as the game progresses. And if you do enjoy it, let me know. Uh, repair the broken workbench. Ooh, very, very awesome. Then let's see. So now, okay, so there's even yet another one, but we need ore. Interesting. Hmm, so we can craft different things as well. Hmm, what is this? So I could, this is something I have a quest for, I guess but I need cloth, which I don't have currently. Craft a squire waistcoat at the workbench, equip a new, your new squire waistcoat, and then place five refined wood blocks to start rebuilding the old farm. Okay, then we can do the refined wood. Let's um just start placing it down like around this window cell. Ooh, that sort of works. Oh wow, it looks really good too. Like I can't wait to get to building in this game. It just, it sort of worries me. It's like, do I wanna build because nothing's permanent? I don't know, it's interesting. So there, we got that one done. We need to find something. What do we need for this? We need two cotton cloth. And I think you can make, yep, right here, and you need four cotton. So we need to find eight cotton. Let's see where we can find that. Oh, here we go. Here are some. Let's pick up this stuff. Oh, and they give you a bunch each time. So there's three right there. We'll get some of this, and I'll get this too. I love this. This is so charming. All right, we have eight cotton in total now, so that should be plenty to go back over here to this little house. So there's just so much to do, it's a lot of fun. Hmm, let me plop on down here. And then, hmm, let's see, make this. Oh wow, okay, so it's crafting it. All right, so I can't get this until it's done, right? 
Oh, there you go, got one of them. And then I'll just wait for that other one. Ooh, boom. All right, so I can use that to scroll down here and make the squire waste come. And now that's building and grabbed. Now you can equip things over here. We can go to over here, our squire waistcoat. And since while we're over here, we can also equip our pioneer's cape. Now these also have stats, as you can see, mana regeneration one and health regeneration one. So there you go. And that gives us plus 20 health. So definitely it's worth building this armor. All right, good stuff. Um, Let's see what other things we can find. It looks like there's a stone mine around here. Is that where we were at before? Or is that somewhere else? Whoa, the sun's going down. What's gonna happen when it get, gets dark around here? Hmm, I'm guessing this is the stone mine. So let's, ah, oh, oh, okay. I don't like that noise. <laughs> All right, what does this say? Mining with a pickaxe is much faster. Mine a stone block by holding the left mouse button on it. All right, so we can, oh, okay. Let's fight this guy first. The venom maggot, <laughs> ew. It's just gross. All right, so we can mine a stone block like this. With, even with our sword, we can do that. Interesting. All right, we have to craft a stone pickaxe. I can always pull this up to check things out though, right? Hmm, oh, right here. Stone pickaxe. Oh, we can craft this right now. We don't even need a workbench. Interesting. All right, so then we can put that there. Sorry, Mr. Egg, we'll just leave you there. All right, so let's try this out now with the pickaxe, which sort of looks just like an axe, but I mean, whatever works, right? Hmm. And can I take things like this? I can. So I can use that lantern in my own work. Whoa, whoa that was a chest I just accidentally broke open. Whoa, okay, we got a lot of stuff there. Um, we got a raw electro quartz. We have cotton, uh, more stone blocks. A lot of cool stuff going on right now. Uh, cotton seed, I thought that was like a pineapple. I was like, ooh, tasty. All right, and we'll grab like this torch too, because I, like, I'm sure we're gonna need torches at some point, right? So we'll take it. It's ours now. All right, I'll, now I can't see. How the heck do I get out of here? Just like that, uh-oh, it's dark. Complete the remaining quest step through. So now we just have to do the portal. So all we have to do now is get the heck out of here. All right, here's the portal. Craft two, whoa. Craft two blue portal stones. Place four blue portal stones in the empty slots. Okay, so we do have four more portal stone shards. This a lot of like, like, core, like categorized stuff. All right, let's do that. And now we have how many? I have no clue. Um. Go back here, we have three of them. Is that enough? Let's go into first person mode because it definitely is easier for building. It doesn't seem to be enough, we need one more. So let's go and get some more of these blue portal shards. All right, um, ooh, there's some slimes. Uh-oh, and an orange slime too. We gotta be careful because these guys can't be putting... <laughs> I forgot I didn't have my sword in my hand. Look at how silly they look. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> That's like the flimsiest punch I've ever seen. Like, extend that arm, boy. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's so close yet so far away. All right, there's one of them. We just need one more now, so. Now we can also dodge their attacks by using the space bar. It's sort of weird, but I'm still starting to get used to it. And there you go. The, you know, the attacks and everything are very like Zelda-like, which I like. Hmm, so there we go. That seems to be just about everything. We can go and place those down now. And that seems to be this first area finished up. So let's uh, hop up there. Nice, nice. And then let's see. And we'll craft this really quick. It is over here, craft. And then we're going to, where is it? Right here. I wish it would just go right into my inventory since I had the slot, but either way, it should work just like this. And there you go, having opened the outgoing path, be wary of the invading wrath. Oh my. Well then I think we're good to go. Let's head through the portal. Whoa. Okay, we're going to the Dusty Mountains. Whoa, I have no idea what's gonna happen here. Whoa, we're going through this thing again. Here we go again. This is so crazy, I love it, but it's also super weird. Dusty Mountains, level two. Whoa, now this is a lot more of a serious tone. And with that being said, we'll make sure to tackle it very seriously in the next episode of Portal Knights. I hope you enjoyed this first little introductory episode. I know it wasn't the longest in the world, but that's just because I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a taste test of this game. Like I said, it is out on early access tomorrow, and I'm really excited to play more of it. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to give this video a like and just show your support in the comment section below so I know to post more come tomorrow. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Knight so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.